In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create five steps business process animated slide in PowerPoint. And this is how the slide works. When I click the first semicircle comes, you can see the arrow here uh, with the circle and the icon. And I have just put the idea. You can add some detailed text here. And on my next click, the second arrow will come and the second option is research. Then the third option process the fourth option the goal and the last fifth option is the aspiration so i've created two slides one with animation another without animation so depending on your requirement you can just choose the slide and just change the text as per your requirement and if you have not subscribed to my channel powerpoint university please subscribe it now and make sure to enable the bell notification icon you can join my telegram group with the help of this link and if you like to contribute to my channel, you can do it through PayPal or Patreon. The link is provided in the video description section. So let's start the tutorial. Add a new slide, go to view, enable the guides, go to insert shapes. From the basic shapes, I'm going to select the circle hollow, draw the circle hollow, maybe this much size and make sure to hold the shift key so that you get a perfect uh, circle. And you can see here the small orange point. If you like to reduce the width, you can just drag this inside. Maybe I need uh, this much width. You can see here shape outline, make it no outline. Then align center, align middle. Then I'm going to cut the circle into half. So for that, go to insert shapes, select the rectangle, draw the rectangle. You can see only from the bottom side here and then select the oval shape or the circle hollow hold the shift key select the rectangle under format shapes you see merge shape and then just subtract so you end up getting a a semicircle here then go to insert shapes i'm going to add a arrowhead for that i'm going to select this uh, triangle draw the triangle you can see here shape outline make it no outline rotate i'm just going to make it flip vertical and then just attach attach it at the bottom here you can see something like this and make sure that it is properly aligned all right once this is done i'm just going to select all press ctrl g to group it then i'm just going to move this here and then i'm going to duplicate this by pressing ctrl d and then rotate i'm just going to make it flip vertical and that's just bring it down you can see here somewhere here all right make sure that it is something like this this one should be a pointing towards this end and then i'm going to select both of this press ctrl d to duplicate and add two more here you can see here again make sure that it is properly aligned and then i'm going to add one more ctrl d to duplicate and then you can just add one more here all right now using the line i'm just going to attach this one so go to insert shapes select the line and then just drag this line at the bottom here shape outline make it some gray color and here i'm going to increase the weight a little bit maybe and then i'm going to give a dotted lines you can see a round dotted all right and then just make sure that i'm just moving this one so that the line should be in the center now select this press ctrl d to duplicate and i'm just going to put it here and again align it so let me just add the line for option three and four also And the last one, press Ctrl D. And this also in the center. 
so once this is done now depending on your requirement you can choose the color so i can just choose any color of my choice you can see here i'm just selecting some colors So you can see here the colors has been added now it's time to add a few more shapes and the text so before adding uh, the circles make sure that the equal gap is there you can see here for that press ctrl a ctrl a and then just using the arrow key i'm just making it try to make it in the center now go to insert shapes and select the oval shape draw the oval shape by holding the shift key maybe this much size okay and then here i'm just going to keep it in the center and then shape outline make it no outline and shape fill you can use any gray color here and then right mouse click go to format shape under effects go to 3d format top bevel i'm going to choose maybe this one and then go to the shadow presets i'm going to select the offset bottom left and increase the distance and then you can just make it somewhat blur then press ctrl d to duplicate and then just add it here make sure it is center press ctrl d add for the third option let me just add it for this and the last for the fifth option now depending on your requirement you can add the number one two three four or if you are using the latest version of powerpoint then you can just simply go to icons and based on your requirement you can just add the icon so i'm just adding some uh, random icons here i'll just move this aside sorry press ctrl z i'll just move this aside and then i'm just going to make the size is 0.6 only the height and width and then just bring each one and put it in the center So you can you can just add the text also if you want if you don't have the icons all right now once this is done now let's add some text here or the title first so let me just add title here make it bold and use any good font i'm just using the calibri here then go to insert text box you can add detail text here if you want you can make it center align i'm going to use some gray color reduce the font size and then just put it here So now I'm just going to select both of these, press Ctrl D to duplicate and just add it here, Ctrl D, again this is for the third option, Ctrl D for the fourth option and this is for the fifth option. And if you want to do a basic animation also, you can just simply do some basic animation to it.